gambling about my money, I would've went dummy and big grand. But I got this shit locked up, can't nobody stop us, your nigga. I'm tasting that big bag. Everybody rhyming, that clutch in the fire on. My younger day once on ride for him. He make it we up, and I hope that the. What it do with your boy OTC bro and welcome back to Rude Reviews. Man, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Roast, dislike, do the most, man. Hit the notification button so you know when my boys upload to the two. Hashtag Rude Ones in the comment section for a shout out on Friday and every single Friday after that. We're on our way to 100,000 of them. Thanks, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Now, as you see, this is not a reaction video. This is a story time, man. As you see by the title, this is my first fist fight. Now, for those who know me personally, um, fighting was something that I was... Now, I, I don't want to glorify and say I was good at, but it's something that I, I liked doing when it was that time and place to do. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I was a violent person. It was just... A lot of built up anger, a lot of built up energy. But we're gonna talk about my very first fight. So here we go, man. So I was about nine years old, and you know what I'm saying? We just moved to a new neighborhood. We might we might have been living there for about six, seven months, you know what I'm saying? Still getting acclimated with the area, still getting used to the, you know what I'm saying, neighbors and you know what I'm saying, the kids in the neighborhood. So one day I was outside. Um, and beforehand, I, I used to we used to slap box all the time. Slap box, you know what I'm saying? So I, I really like slap boxing. So, but I've never actually been in a fist fist fight. Like you know what I'm saying? Actually, had to throw them things. But anyways, we was outside playing basketball, and I won't say no names because you say no, no, no face, no case. So over here we don't say no names, but you know what I'm saying? People who know me personally know how this went. Um, so. We was outside playing, we was playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? Playing a little rough, getting a little physical. And um, I guess I fouled this, this dude, you know what I'm saying? I fouled him, boom. You know, he said, hey, he had some slick shit to say. Oh, little nigga, you know what I'm saying? You better stop fouling me like that before it get real, 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 real out here. And I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know, cause I don't, I don't know, I didn't know myself when I, when I, when I got, got real, real mad. I never knew, but something in me was like, huh? All right, that felt, felt like a little, you know, a little off to me. So, you know what I'm saying, we playing, you know what I'm saying, maybe four or five possessions later, he got the ball. I come through, bow, smack it off the backboard. You know what I'm saying? Smack it right off the backboard, but my elbow hits him in the back of his neck. So he getting all hot and this and this and this. So me, I don't, I'm, I'm just like, damn, this, this is an older dude trying to fight. He like older, I'm like nine at this time. He's like at least 11 or 12, you feel me? He trying to go back and forth with me, go back and forth, go back and forth. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even trying to do this. I'm not even trying to do it. But he kept insisting, he kept insisting, he kept insisting. So I was like, okay, fuck that. I'm about to go to the house. I ran to the house. I had to pee like a motherfucker. And I ran to the house. And when I was peeing, something like just came over me. I was like, fuck this nigga. <laughs> I was like, fuck this nigga, bro. And I was screaming while I was in the restroom. I was like, I was like charging myself. I'm like, fuck this nigga, bro. I'm about to, I don't, I ain't, I ain't know what I was about to do. I was like, just, this nigga just pissed me off. Like, it just made me mad. I get out the restroom and my mom is like, bro, you, you okay? I was like, yeah, ma, I, I'm good. I just, I, and she saw it in my face was like getting like real tense. Like my face was like squinched in and my eyes were getting real, real red, like, like bloodshot red. And I just got real, real, real mad. Like my body was just like shaking. I was real, real mad. Cause I felt, I don't know, when I got home, I felt like real, real like disrespect. As soon as I started peeing, I was just like, bro, what the fuck just happened, bro? I just, I, like my body, the, the adrenaline set down and I realized what just happened outside. And I was gonna go back outside. Cause I just came home to, I just came to the house to pee cause I had to pee real bad. And people were trying to break it up anyways. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to break it up anyways, the four or five people that was out there besides me and old boy. So I'm out, I opened the restroom door. My mom was like, you good? I was like, yeah. And I was like, I'm about to go, I'm about to go out here and fight this dude. Well, my mom was very understanding because she also grew up on the same side of town. Now, in my mom's head, she thought I was coming in the house because I was running from old boy. So she told me, say, you know, you can't run uh, in this neighborhood. You gonna have to, you gonna have to stand your ground where we live at. This is this, this is where we live at. This is the situation we in. You gonna have to stand your ground. And every, while she was saying, I was shaking my head. I was like, you damn right, you damn right. And I never told my mom she probably gonna see this that I didn't come in the house because I was running. <laughs> I came in the house because I had to pee, real bad. So on the way 
So I get done talking to her, give me some water, walk out the door. And it's like, it's like apartments. I come out and it's like my circle, my cul-de-sac. And it's like, you go down and where we was playing basketball was like a street. It's like a whole street. It's like the gate is on this side. So you, I went down all the way down the street and the whole way there, I would have my fist but I was like, fuck this nigga. <sighs> fuck, you know, just imagine a nine year old walking down the street, fist balled. I wasn't, I was like real, real mad, sweating hella. You know what I'm saying? I had a gray t-shirt on, hella, my t-shirt looked damn near black. I was sweating hella. I was like, fuck this nigga, bro. Fuck this nigga. <sighs> and I never cussed. That was, that was the thing that shocked me. At that age, I wasn't really cussing. I was hanging out with the older dudes but I still had to go home. My mom, my mom, she didn't allow that, you know what I'm saying, that cussing up in her house. And my grandparents, they for sure didn't allow that cussing up in their house. You know what I'm saying? You get your mouth washed out with soap, real dirty South type shit. You feel me? Or get smacked in the mouth, real tight, dirty shit, dirty South type shit. So I'm just walking down there, fist balled up. You know what I'm saying? Like a bull. Just, and, I, and I get up there. I don't say nothing. I throw the first punch. I miss, nigga. I whiffed that motherfucker. I whiffed it. He 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 went like, like on some movie type shit. And after that, bro, we just started tussling. I ain't gonna lie. I got my ass beat. I didn't get knocked out. I didn't quit the fight. But as soon as I missed that one, he was like, boom, boom. He hit me in my jaw twice. I said, oh hell no. Came back. He hit me again beside my forehead. Boom. I was like, oh, this nigga's reach was impeccable. I was like, oh, hell no. So I got him. Boom. Hit him in like the side of his ribs. As soon as I did that, he like dug down. As soon as I did that, no lie, I backhand him. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I should have punched the nigga. I backhand him and then like hit him on the side of his head. And he like stumbled a little bit. That was the furthest of anybody almost falling. You know what I'm saying? I didn't knock him down. He didn't knock me down. And eventually... You know what I'm saying? We were tussling, boom, 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 boom. And this old, old, old man, uh, I think I forgot old man's name. We used to call him something. We never called him out of his real name. But it was an OG. He came out the door. He was like, hey, 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 stop that. You know where I'm from is the hood. Nobody says that they gonna call the cops. You feel me? So he didn't say he was gonna call the cops. Uh, he just went back into his house real fast. He was like a real big ass old man. So we just like broke up the fight. But nigga, I was going back home. I had like, I didn't, I didn't have no blank eye, I didn't have no black eye. Uh, I had like a swollen jaw, my lip was busted, but I gained respect in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 I was a little dude fighting a way bigger dude than me. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that dude to this day. After that, we became friends. That was one of my closest friends in the neighborhood. After that, it was just a situation where you know what I'm saying? We playing and we playing outside, and, it, and it's just hostility, intensity. And like I tell all my friends, I fight. I fought my friends before. You know what I'm saying? Not on no evil shit, just on some. You trying to do this shit, and they agree to it, and we, we get the tussling, and we get the throwing them hands, and after that, you shake up, and you and you and you, it is what it is. Now these days, niggas want to shoot people. Back in my day, they were shooting people, but the people getting shot at. You know what I'm saying? Also had guns. They weren't shooting at people that didn't have guns. I, I don't know. These days, people are getting shot at. They don't even have guns. You know what I'm saying? I know it's the saying, don't bring a, a, a knife to a gunfight, but don't bring a gun to a fist fight. You know what I mean? Throw the hands. You get your ass beat, you get, you get your ass beat. And I've been in plenty of fights. Some I've lost. Some I've won. I've won more than I've lost, but I, I have lost fights. I've never been knocked out, but I've lost fights. And... It it, 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 it it bothers me when people say, oh, I never lost a fight. Well, you either ain't been in enough or you ain't really been in no fight. You know what I'm saying? Because even some ones I won, I felt like I lost. I was like, damn, bro. That shit was rough. You know what I'm saying? So, but that incident, that was my very first fight. I gained respect in the neighborhood. Uh, not as, not as, oh, he come OTC, bro. That's a bad motherfucker. Not just S O. That's OTC, bro. You know what I'm saying? He going to ride for here. He going to do what he got to do. He going to handle his business on his own. Cause you know what I'm saying? I have a twin brother. We could have easily jumped this nigga. Easily. I could have, you know what I'm saying? Twin. Boom, boom, boom. We'd have jumped on this nigga. No, but I handled my own on the ones. And um, that was what was happening. So shouts out to old boy. He know who he is. I don't know if he watched the channel, but still the homie. I still stay in contact with him uh to this day. Every once in a while on Facebook. But shouts out to the homie. Um but yeah, man, that was my first fist fight. Shouts out to everybody, man, who saw the fight, but you know what I'm saying? That's just it. Anyways, man, it's your boy OTC, bro. This is what I'm going to start doing on the channel, just giving y'all a little, you know what I'm saying, background 
into my life, how I grew up, um, the things going on, my inspiration, my motivation, my dedication, all this stuff I want to get out. Put it in a little story time, a little quick story time for y'all. Hope y'all liked it. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you liked the video. Let me know if you didn't like the video. This is your boy, OTC Bro. This is Rude Reviews. And I will see you when I see you.